Hey family, welcome back to my channel, Awaken Butterfly Readings. Much love to you all. As you see, I am doing another update reading on, that's right, Cult Mom, Lori Valor slash Daybell. With this reading right here, family, I pretty much want to, you know, get a divine insight um, in the present, uh, what is Lori thinking? What's going on with her? What's going on, What's going on in the head of hers? Okay, that's pretty much what this reading's about. And I'm also seeing those things in the dark, bringing them out to the marvelous light. So before I get started, um, whatever you hear, it is allegedly. This is for entertainment purpose only. I have to say that, but I am led by the spirit. Now, for those of you who just happen to be watching and you're new, um, I've done several videos on this particular um, case. You're welcome to <clears throat> go back and um, check those videos out. Feel free to do so. But um, for anybody who just, you know, first time coming in, um, briefly, um, Lori Valor, let me just see here. I had went on Google. I was trying to get some uh, up-to-date information on her, but it was saying that um, she has been the center of a case that involves two dead spouses as well as two uh, dead children. Now, um, Lori had two children, Tylee and JJ, and they were found deceased. They were found deceased in the back of her husband, Chad Daybell, home, okay? And the authorities were asking her, you know, where are your children? And just before they even, you know, found out her children were deceased. And, and she was acting like, you know, um, she didn't know where they were. Pretty much wasn't giving them any kind of information, okay? She was pretty much just... Uh, staying silent and wasn't telling anybody anything so with that being said um, I just want to put that out there for anyone who just happened to be um, you know checking this reading out um, but her husband um, has a church I believe and um, Lori by her being involved with him okay getting involved with Chad um, according to people that know her, you know, that's close to her, they say she's changed. We all know that when it comes to getting involved with, you know, groups, organizations, slash cults, um, it can really change a person's behavior, all right? They lose themselves and, you know, um, it can definitely be an addiction, whether you are addic addicted to the wrong people, slash groups, okay? You are known to be caught up like that. And a lot of times you lose yourself. And you can be a danger to yourself or others, okay? So anyway, I'm getting ready to get started with this reading. <clears throat> this right here is a picture of Lori. She's in court, okay? And I'm looking at this picture and I tell you, you can only imagine what she's thinking. You can only imagine. The top picture is her children, her two deceased children, Tylee and JJ. They were found deceased in the back of her husband's home. And this right here just disgusts me. She's sitting in court smirking as if I know something that you don't. I know something that you don't. So I want to pretty much set my attention on Miss Lori to get an idea of what's going on in her head. What is it that she knows that we don't? Okay? Pretty much trying to receive some clarity as well as confirmation for that which we already know. Okay? being led by the spirit, but no matter what you hear, it's still at the end of the day, it is allegedly. Just see it as entertainment purpose only, especially if you feel like <clears throat> you disagree with anything that you're hearing, family, 
that's okay. Just disagree with love. So real quick, I'm going to ready to set my attentions on Lori. Give me a minute. Whatever you hear, I'm setting my tensions on her in the present. What's going on with this sister in the present? Okay, what is her mindset in the present? What is she thinking about in the present? I see those things in the dark, bring them out to the marvelous light. Give me a minute, family. What is presently going on with Lori Valor? What is presently going on with Lori Valor? Why is Lori choosing to have her husband Chad Daybell back? What's going on with Lori to where she choose to have her husband Chad Daybell back? I see those things in the dark, bring them out to the marvelous light. What is presently going on with Lori? What is her mindset? Why is it she is the way she is? What's going on with this sister? What is her angle? What is her angle? Oops, sorry family. This meant for it to come back up. It will, don't worry. What is her angle? What is she hiding? What is Lori 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 hiding? I'm just staring at her picture and you could tell, I mean, she, it, it, it looks like she just numb. It looks like she is just numb. She just motionless. <clears throat> That's a dangerous person. Sort of psychopath like it. <clears throat> it's a real cold individual. And family, this reading is pretty much on Lori now. Things might come out about Chad. It may be her thoughts about him, but it's pretty much her mindset, okay? We're trying, I'm trying to see things from her perspective to get an idea of what's going on with this sister. Hold on.
All right, family, I was told by the Spirit we are complete. Now, I will read up on certain cards. I won't read up on all of them. I hate making a video so long because everybody teaches Spanish short, including mine. But don't worry, I will make sure certain cards I feel that stands out, I will read up on them so many of you can receive um, clarity, okay? As well as additional meaning to these cards. Now, I was setting my attention, family. I was setting my attention. I wanted to know what's presently going on with Lori. What is her mindset, you know? Um, just pretty much trying to get an idea of what's going on in this woman's head. But I will tell you this, okay, what I do sense intuitively. I sense that she feels like she's going to get off, okay? That's how calculating she really is. You know, she plays the victim you know, uh, card very good. I do sense that she feels like she's going to get off, and she's going to play the game, shall I say? Um, I will say this also. I truly, I truly sense that uh, when it comes to Lori, you know, uh, we're going to see what these cards have to say. But I'm just let me you know my intuitive. What I'm sensing, I sense that uh, the reason she pretty much um, went along as far as uh, with the unthinkable that happened to her children is because she wanted her freedom, okay? She wanted her freedom, and she likes the good life, okay? And she saw Chad as her ticket as far as, you know, uh, escaping her past um, shall I say, lifestyle, her past, uh, in moving in the moving in a, in a new direction as far as you know, um, no baggage, shall I say, okay? But that's a sick individual, that's a, that's a very selfish individual, okay? Because she still could have done all of that, you know, she didn't have to, um, shall I say, go along with something that's so, um, hideous, okay? Um, like a lot of women, they kill their children. They don't really don't have to kill them. Just give them to somebody else if you don't want to be bothered with them. But don't take them out just because you don't want to be bothered with anymore. Okay? So <clears throat> this is what I pick up on when it comes to um, Miss uh, Lori. Now I'm getting ready to get to this reading. Remember, it is allegedly. And um, let me see if, if this uh, message is in order. All right, family, uh, this message does have a timeline to it. The way I see it, uh, just look at it as a puzzle and put the puzzle together, all right? All we're doing is trying to get a little insight of the mindset of Lori, Valor, slash Daybell. Now, let's get with this reading. Let's get with this reading. <clears throat> let's get with this reading. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm going to read from the bottom to the top. I was led by the Spirit to read from the bottom to the top, okay? Just have ears to hear, family. I'm going to move, I'm going to move through this reading pretty fast, okay? Because I have to read up on certain cards. The ones I'm going to read up on, I'm going to turn them sideways so many of you can receive additional um, meaning. So let's get with this card. Let's get with this reading. Okay, family, this card is upside down. This is the sacrifice card. Now remember, when you're looking at these cards, the message, Try to see the message from the perspective of what's going on in Lori's mind. How is she thinking, okay? Hold on. 
So try to look at <clears throat> these messages from that perspective, okay? As far as imagining her sitting there alone and a lot is going through her mind. Now upward, we know what this card means, sacrifice, okay? Somebody participating in sacrificing somebody, okay? Or somebody has been sacrificed, one or the other. This card was upside down. It has additional meaning. Now, this card speaks of sacrifice. It also, additional meaning is transformation. This card speaks of wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment as well. But this card is upside down. So this is somebody who's not operating in wisdom nor gratitude, okay? They're not operating in wisdom nor gratitude. This card signifies that there's still a situation happening or about to occur in your life and you can't control the outcome. This would be a good moment to pause, rest, have patience, reflect, and meditate. So she's sitting around. She's got, she done found herself in a situation that she can't get out of, okay? It's pretty much out of her control. And she's pretty much trying to just wait things out, okay? She's trying to wait things out. Like I said, it's out of her control. And she's trying to just reflect and meditate, it would be wise to stand back so you can learn to look at events with a more understanding, intuitive eyes, try to view people issues or problems from a different perspective. If you can achieve this, it will have a profound effect on your soul and your life. <clears throat> the sacrifice card can also symbolize a period of transition and change. The solution you seek may be slow in coming. You hear that family? The solution you seek may be slow in coming for it could be necessary to live into the answers except the things that you can't control heal and leave the past behind so that's the additional meaning to this card the next card is heartache and loss so obviously Laura is doing a lot of reflecting inside that jail cell, and she's thinking about her children, okay? According to the spirit, there are moments to where she's reflecting, and she's thinking about heartache and loss, the heartache and loss of her children. Now, it could be due to guilt. It could be due to guilt. I'm just showing you the message, family. She is reflecting and her children does pop up on her mind and she is feeling heartache and loss and maybe regret. Accelerated motion. This card is stating that a lot of things are going on behind the scenes, family, real fast. Okay, it's a lot of things that's going on behind the scenes with this case real fast. I'm sure the authorities are gather, gathering up a lot of evidence, okay, that are being stacked against Lori, okay, or whatever the case may be. But according to this card, it's a lot of things happening in the now that's going on behind the scenes concerning Lori Valor's case. Okay, things are moving real fast. This card is upside down. Had it been upward, this is conflict and defeat. This is someone who has been, this is one who has been in a conflict and they have been defeated. This is someone who has not been defeated. So, you may say, all right, Corinne, so what are you saying? In Lori's mind, in her mind, she feels like she can beat this. She doesn't feel like she's going to be defeated, okay? That's what this card is saying. We're trying to get an insight of her mindset, okay? How she's thinking. She feels like she can beat this. She doesn't feel like she's defeated yet.
patience. In the present, she's operating and being pre I'm sorry, I'm gonna say present. In the in the present, she's operating and being patient. Okay? She's trying to wait things out. She has no control but to wait things out. Okay? Remember that other card, the sacrifice card, how it speaks about how, you know, um, for her, uh, it wouldn't be in her best interest to be worrying in a way because, you know, uh, for her not to be worried about things that are not in her control to worry about. So right now, she's just being patient, trying to wait things out. Okay, make this up. Memories of love. Memories of love. This is someone who's thinking about somebody, whether it be a significant other slash husband, or it can be her children. Okay? I wanted to know in the present. I wanted to know in the present. What's going on in Lori's mind? What is she thinking? Let's get an idea who this could be. I sense in the present she's thinking about her children. This is what I'm sensing. Memories of love. Memories of a loved one. The thing about it, she can't go backwards. What happened has happened. She can't go backwards. I'm sensing she's thinking about her children. <clears throat> the universe card. This card right here represents completion and fulfillment. Okay? A lot of times when I see this card, it can be that the additional meaning with, with this card can be a death. Okay? The death of somebody or somebody could be thinking about death okay allegedly suicide this represents completion okay a lot of times I see this card the person is deceased but due to Lori's case let me see something, family. Hold on. I sense in the present, Lori looking at all her options. Even though she feels like she can beat this case, She's looking at all her options. What if, what if I don't beat it? This woman does not want to serve time, years of her life wasted, rotting in jail, okay? She's looking at all her options, just in case, allegedly, she could be contemplating about suicide if things go to the left, if things don't go her way. Okay? This is what I'm sensing about her in the present. Okay? With this card right here. Especially if things are not looking, going in the way she would want them to go. Okay? She could do the unthinkable. Or try to anyway. This right here is upside down. Had it been upward, 
this is someone for one thing this card uh, represents renewal of life as well as growth okay renewal of life or growth you can also look at this card as someone that's in the spotlight or someone who choose to, to run to the light this is this is the opposite okay this is the lack of growth this is someone who's not in the spotlight anymore or this is someone who's not who's um running from the light okay it's how you choose to look at this card Lori is still in the spotlight because she's constantly on the news yes indeed but due to things that has transpired as far as why she's in the situation that she's in her children are deceased her children have been murdered okay so this card representing lack of growth from her perspective okay and this is someone who's not in the spotlight as they would like for, to be okay they're not outside they're not shining they're not outside in the sun anymore she's longing to be, to be back out on the outside okay this is what she's longing for but she's inside in the dark okay she's behind the bars she's in she's in the cell okay she's not out in the sun in the light in the spotlight shall i say but that's what she's longing for to get back out this card is upside down upward this card is discontentment and boredom and this card has additional meaning and i will read up on this card because it has additional meaning so i'm going to turn it sideways this card right here is upside down this card is up well it's upside down but had it been upward this is material harvest this is someone who who has sold seeds and they are reaping the harvest of the seed they have sown okay everything is everything they are in a fruitful place this is someone who was not able to reap okay so you can imagine how she's reflecting on this she was not able to reap the harvest that she was hoping for being with chad okay and the end of life that she really really wanted to be carefree this is what she wanted but it didn't work out that way this card is upside down had it been upward this is Lori saying I know I know this is someone who's operating in their awareness I know she's saying I don't know I don't know I know I'm gonna get out of this I'm gonna get out of this situation I don't know I don't know the way things are looking I don't know the way the evidence is stacking up against me I don't know this is upside down had it been upward this would have been in Lord's favor it say choose wisely this is the one who has options you see how they're at a door, but they got options. It says choose wisely, okay? This is a wise person. They have options. This is someone who's foolish. Yeah, they had options, but, but they didn't choose wisely. They didn't choose wisely at all that's in their favor. That's Lori. She didn't choose wisely. She could have done things totally different. That would not have led her to where she is but she didn't but she didn't let me just say operate in sound mind uh, she was operating in her intu uh, in intuition as far as making sound judgment not whatsoever hmm. this is upside down oh boy this card is stand your ground this is the one who's standing their ground they're they're fighting they are fighting they're like uh 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 i did not do this uh uh i'm gonna fight this is someone who's not so Lori in the present she's feeling very weary she's feeling very weary according to this card right here family it's a lot going on 
This is a accelerated motion. It's a lot going on behind the scenes. And I truly believe the authorities are really stacking up a lot of evidence against her. Okay? Whatever her attorney is telling her, it, it, it doesn't look good in her favor. It doesn't look good in her favor. But I truly believe she still feel like she can uh, beat this. But right now, when she's sitting along in that cell, she's contemplating, she's reflecting. She, when it's upside down, it's like, I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Upward, she's standing her ground. She's fighting. She's speaking up for herself. Right here, she get real quiet. I don't know. And she's not standing her ground. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. This right here is the power. This is the power card. This is someone who's trying to operate in power, okay? She still feels like, as I stated earlier, she's going to get out of this, okay? This is someone who's operating from a place of power and they feel like they got this, okay? They feel like they got this. I will read up on this card. It has additional meaning, okay? This right here is upside down. Upward, this is the temptation card. This is the temptation card. And I told many of you what the temptation card means. Um, it can mean anything that you're doing that's not for your highest good, whether you're tempted to alcohol, drugs, um, tempted to uh, get involved with the wrong person, tempted to groups or organizations, okay? And I don't know why it's not upward, but it should be upward. But this card has additional meaning also, okay? Because this is the devil card as well. This card has additional meaning. It's upside down. And I will read upon this card, okay? Maybe, you know, even though she's thinking about suicide, if things go to the left, maybe, you know, just because she's thinking about it, she's not tempting as far as acting on it in the present. That's what I'm getting out of it, okay? Right here is the spiritual strength card. This is what Lori is operating in, spiritual strength, okay? So she, she's praying, okay? And I'm sure probably meditating. And she has no choice but to meditate because she's in a cell, so, you know, she's sitting up in there all, you know, it's all quiet. So she's doing a lot of reflecting, but according to the spirit, she's doing a, a she's tapping in her inner strength, okay? So she's definitely doing a lot of praying and meditating. Let me just say that. She's calling on the higher power, you know, asking for help, okay? Let me just say that to get out of the situation that she's in. And family, maybe in Lori's mind, maybe she feel like she didn't do anything wrong. You know? That's what I get. That's what I sense about her. She, she has that, um, you know, um, she, she has that playing the victim type of um, personality. You know, it's like she got herself in a situation, but it's like, you know, but I didn't do anything. That was him. I didn't do it. You know? But anyway. Right now, she's seeking spiritual strength. This is what she's seeking right now in the present. Spiritual strength. This is Partnership Alliance. This is two couples, two people coming together for a common goal, okay? So this is Lori and Chad. They came together for a common goal, whatever that means to them, okay? Whatever that means to them, this is why she hooked up with Chad. I'm going to read up on this card. It has additional meaning. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna turn it sideways. This right here is emotional withdrawal. This is someone <clears throat> who's dealing with something, okay? And they're pretty much moving away from their problems or their pain, okay? This is emotional withdrawal. This is Lori in the present, okay? Yeah, we know she's locked up and all, but she has, she has, she's really going through something right now, okay? Her fears are getting, her fears and her mind is getting the best of her, okay? I'm sure she's dealing with mental conflict because she got herself in a situation that she really did not want to be in. And she really didn't think that, you know, she was going to be charged for this unthinkable crime that has happened to her children. Okay? Right now in the present, she's dealing with emotional withdrawal. Okay? This is what she's dealing with. This is upside down. This is Lori thinking. This is this is in her quiet time while she's reflecting. Okay, this is the spiritual union card. And with this card, this is two couples. Okay, they have a connection, which was Lori and Chad. Okay. Had this been upward, this would have been Lori and Chad. They would still had a bond and they would still have a connection. Right now in the present. In the present. Lori is not feeling that bond and she is not feeling that connection with Chad. Okay? Something is off. And she is feeling it. Okay? That connection and that bond that her and Chad has, or had, shall I say, she's not feeling it in the present. Something is going on with these two. Okay? Right now they are not in sync whatsoever. They both are in survival mode, okay? I would be surprised if they pretty much uh, turn it on each other. This right here is the base chakra. This is Lori saying, I have. You have what, Lori? This is her saying, I have. You have what, Lori? Let's keep going with the message. And she could be saying, I have spiritual strength. Because this is what she's relying on right now. Okay? The next card is upside down. Upward, this is triumph and success. Had it been upward, it would have been in her favor. Okay, let me just say that. I'm seeing those things in the present. I told y'all it's a lot going on right now in the present. Things are, are moving real fast behind the scenes. Had it been upward, this would have been in Lord's favor, triumph and success. But it's upside down. So I see why she's feeling weary. Okay? I can, I can see now why, you know, this is popping up. The sacrifice card. All right. Maybe she feel like she's going to be sacrificed as far as uh, being um, going to prison, okay, for the murder of her children. But this doesn't look good in her favor at all. This is upside down, triumph and success. That what she was trying to do, okay. It looks like, it look like it's not going to be in her favor at all. But we shall see. Allegedly, we shall see. <clears throat> Movement and choices. This is Lori behind the scenes. She's trying to get all her options. Movement and choices and decisions. Okay? This is someone... Just looking at all of their options, trying to make movement and choices and decisions in their favor. This is Lori in the present. I can't make this up. This right here is two couples. Had it been up for it, this is harmony. This is harmony within the relationship. This card was upside down. In the present, 
This is how Laura's feeling about Chad, her husband. It's lack of harmony right now, okay? These two are at odds right now, okay? It looked like to me, uh, shit is about to hit the fan, okay? Cause like I said, these both both of them are in um, survival mode, okay? I'm sure I'm pretty sure they're telling on each other. She, she's probably telling what she knows, and he's telling, you know, uh, his lawyers what he knows, all right? But the truth is somewhere in the middle. But right now, it's like a harmony with these two. Things ain't how he once was, you know what I'm saying? Because these two are being pressured. This is upside down. This is Lori. Had it been upward, this is her feeling pat. This is her passion feeling initiated, okay? Had it been upward, this would be Lori um, feeling creative and feeling good, okay? Feeling good. But she's not feeling like that, okay? She's not feeling creative and she's not feeling passionate at all. She's just not in a good place, okay? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you name it, she's not in a good place. Her spark has fizzled. Let me just say that. This card is upside down. Had it been upward, this would be the transformation card. A lot of times I see this card, a lot of times people, <clears throat> you know, they do, you know, commit suicide or it could be related to death, okay? But it's upside down. So maybe that's a good thing, you know. We, maybe we won't, we won't have to worry about her Maybe we won't have to worry about hearing that she committed suicide, okay? Because I'm sure they're watching her like a hawk. This card represents renewal. It also rep represents death, end, end of a cycle, a time of ending, okay? A time of ending. Those are additional... Um, meaning to this card all right but it's upside down it's upside down so what i'm getting from this card right here um i'm sensing that she probably won't go she probably won't go through through with it as far as trying to commit suicide because this card does represent death as well had it been upward all right represents death as well in a time of ending Okay, so I, I don't sense that uh, if she does try to behind the scenes, I don't I don't sense that she that she'll go through with it. Let me just say that. And I'm speaking about suicide. Okay, if things go to the left, not in her favor, um, I sense that she won't go through with it. The next card is material and I'm sorry, financial and material changes. <clears throat> family, this right here was Lori Angle in the beginning, okay? This is was her angle, period. And I told many of you what I was sensing about her, all right? This kind of represents financial and material changes. Gain and losses, let me just say that, okay? It represents gain and loss due to due to material changes. Let me just say that um, this was her angle period. All right, this 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 is pretty much why she hooked up with him. All right, she pretty much got with somebody that could turn her life around according to her in a positive direction. Uh, she was seeing dollar signs. Okay, she was seeing a, a, the good life. All right, and a stress free life. Okay. This is what she wanted. She wanted financial material changes. This is what's her angle, and this is why she hooked up with Chad Daybell. Now, this is the kicker. This card says hope. No matter what you saw here, family, Laura is still hopeful that she will get out of this. She's still hopeful that she will not get the guilty verdict, okay? She's still hopeful. She truly believes deep down inside she's going to get out of this. Even though, yes, yeah, she's feeling weary, all right, and, and things don't look good, she's still being hopeful, all right? 
Because she's tapping into this spiritual strength. So she's still feeling hopeful no matter what. I just sense that she got herself in a situation and I don't know what she was telling Chad, okay? I do not know what she was telling her husband. But I truly feel like whatever she was telling him, he ran with it and eliminate that problem for her, okay, concerning her children. And she went along with it, okay? She may not physically actually murder them, but she went along with it, okay? Because that was pretty much an answer to her problem regardless. All right, I'm going to read up on <clears throat> about three or four cards that I'm going to end this video. Okay? I want many of you to receive clarity on the mindset of Lori Valor in the present. Okay, family, I wasn't planning on reading up on this card, but I really, really want to. It has additional meaning. This is a transformation card. I want, I just want many of you to get in, the, uh, just get a little insight in the mind of Lori Valor in the present, okay? So have ears to hear. A time of ending is close at hand. Don't resist the abrupt changes that are suddenly happening in your life. These could be taking place in your personal life, relationship, business, or career. You have the strength as the transformation card asks you to have courage and to know that renewal flows every conclusion. This card comes forth to remind you that the death of an old way of thinking and believing must occur before you can move forward on your new path. Transformation is all about the ebbs and flow of life cycle. Nothing in this life remains motionless. Everything is on its way to somewhere. It's, it's, I'm sorry, family. Accept the changes and opportunities will come to expand you in more ways than you could ever have imagined. You can't live in the past. It's time to move on. In order to take the next positive step, you should look closely at your own life and ask yourself, are there loose ends that needs to be tied up? Are there people in my life whom I need to express myself to? What needs to be completed so I can have a fresh start? When you do so, you will have a stronger and more reinforced foundation to carry you through the new beginnings that awaits you. All right, but this card also represents death as well, family. And I'm I'm sensing that, like I said, things do go to the left. She might try to commit suicide, but I don't sense she's going to go through with it. Okay. All right, family. This is right here is what Lori Valor is operating in in the present. May you have ears to hear because it has additional meaning. Okay. <clears throat> this card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity, and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you or the many surrounding your life. Okay? So according to the spirit in the present, these are the qualities that Lori Valor is operating in, okay? To help her cope, to help her cope with the conditions that's in front of her, okay? All right, family, this is the Partnership Alliance card. <clears throat> this card is representing Lori Ballard and her husband, Chad Daybell. The meaning of this card denotes that, you, that you're now starting to see the fruit of your labor take seed and blossom. There may still be a lot to do, but watch out for synchronicity which could bring opportunities to form, connect, or unexpected alliance that may create something new. These could assist you in gathering resources for future projects. Now remember family, um, 
you know, when she got, when she hooked up with Chad, Chad had it going on, you know, Chad had money, okay? And um, she hooked up with him, all right? Uh, because she saw something in that for her. Let me just say this, pretty much what you could do for me, all right? With all partnership, always remember that there has to be an even exchange of energy. If you give too much, whereas your partner gives too little, it will leave you feeling energetically drained and cause potential disharmony in the union. There must be overall balance within the alliance in order for it to work and blend together for optimate results. This card reminds you that success comes in many forms, even from the most unlikely source. Have an open mind when listening to others. So at the end of the day, partnership alliance, this speaking from the perspective of, you know, uh, this is how she sees Chad, okay? This is how she sees him, all right? She hooked up with Chad as far as what you can do for me, okay? Uh, you do for me, I do for you. You, you know, uh, you make me look good. You know, um, we can do great things together, all right? All right, family, this is a temptation card. It did pop up, but it was upside down. I want to read the additional meaning to this card. The temptation card is calling you to take a hard look at life and ask yourself, where in my life am I suffering from addictive behavior? Is there a negative thinking or behavior that's causing the life force to seep out of my soul? Are there people and relationships in my life giving me energy or draining it? Learn to embrace your fears and all of your doubts so that every situation in your life becomes a learning experience. Gaining the knowledge that the physical world teaches will help you transcend to a higher spiritual awareness. And this card also represents the devil, okay? Um, at the end of the day, um, it should have been upward because, you know, um, due to temptation, Laura ended up hooking up with somebody that wasn't for her highest good. Okay, she ended up hooking up with somebody that wasn't for her highest good. All right, it was it was when she had hooked up with Chad. All right, that the unthinkable had happened with her children. Before she got with Chad, all right, her children were they were alive. Okay, after she hooked up with him and they got married, the unthinkable happened. Something happened, and I'm not just putting all the blame on Chad. It takes two. Okay. But I'm sensing in the spirit when it comes to Lori, you know, um, she pretty much attracted the wrong kind of person to her, all right? Because people can't influence you, okay, due to whatever they're into. Let me just say that. They can't influence you, and you can find yourself losing yourself, as I stated earlier in the reading, okay? And you're not operating in logic and sound mind whatsoever, all right? So, in a way, temptation did have a, a, a lot to do with, um, you know, why the unthinkable happened to her children. She was, she was, she was tempted as well. She, she was definitely tempted as well. You know, and I, I truly feel like the lifestyle and the money, and uh, more than anything, uh, her wanting her freedom, you know, was the main reason she hooked up with him. Because he, he was able to offer her that, the freedom and the lifestyle that she really wanted. family I really wanted to share this card this is discontent and boredom like I said we're trying to get an idea of the mindset of Lori Valor in the present okay I think this card was upside down but I'm going to read the additional meaning to this card this card signifies a time when you may experience stagnation discontent and boredom feelings of restlessness and impatience surrounding you a relationship project or situation isn't moving forward fast enough and could be draining you emotionally and energetically. You're longing for change. Yeah, she longed for change, all right, to get out of that jail cell. And although one door may be closing, don't focus all of your energy on it as opportunities will soon knock. A window or another door could quickly open and if you're 
and if your attention and awareness isn't focused you could easily miss it watch for synchronicities events that brings books speakers workshops blah 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 any of these could possibly hold a message for you have faith in divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason this card acts as a reminder that it's a perfect time to reevaluate and search within your heart and soul for fresh insight okay And remember this card right here, the light, okay? It was upside down. I wanna read the additional information, the additional uh, messages when it comes to this card right here. This card represents the sun as well. Like I said, she's on the inside. She's longing to get out of the four walls of that cell. Let me just say that. She's longing for freedom, okay? The light card reminds that you I'm sorry, the light card reminds you that because of its power, nothing remains in the dark through its illumination. Truth and certain paths before you begins to emerge and can be usually seen. Usually the energy of positive thoughts and continuously thinking about the happiness and most joyful of memories will light the path before you even more brightly and attract exactly what you're emanating keep on shining okay so <laughs> she she's doing her best to think positive in there let me just say that she, she's doing her best to you know stay positive and she definitely operating and being patient because this card is popping up so basically she's not behind uh she, she's not behind the scenes because a lot of us we, don't, we can't see what's going on behind the scenes but she's not behind the scene acting a fool let me just say that she's being patient and pause right now okay she's trying to really think and move in. she's trying to really do this family where's that call word she's trying to make certain movement certain choices certain decisions behind the scene that's in her favor okay this is what she's trying to do all right but she is being patient. She's not behind the scene, you know, arguing and hollering, necking the fool and all of that. Um, you can say, you know, she's trying to play a role. She's trying to play the game so she can get out of this. Uh, Lori is doing what she has to do, all right? For whatever reason, you know, um, she's doing what she has to do so she can get out of this situation, okay? And we know that she's been doing a lot of reflecting and think about her loved ones because this popped up. Her love. Right here. Memories of love. So her children are popping up in her mind. Okay? She's doing a lot of reflecting. And maybe remorse. Okay? It doesn't change things. It won't bring her children back. I truly, I truly you know, believe that she realized she effed up. Okay? But as they say, when you do the crime, you got to do the time. Because this right here, this doesn't look like it's in her favor at all. This is upside down. This is a triumph and success. Pretty much whatever she's trying to do, whatever she's trying to do, that's a triumph and success. It won't be in her favor. Okay? This is the lack of triumph and success. But we shall see. Time would tell. Okay? But yeah, she's definitely seeking the light. She's in a dark place. She's, just, she's in a cell, but she wants to come out. Out into the sun, outside. This is what she really, really wants. So anyway, family. What I really, what I really got out of this reading, let me just say this. Um, it really gives you... It gives many of you really some clarity as well as confirmation. It's letting you know why she hooked up with Chad, okay? She had her reasons, all right? She had pre-intentions of why she hooked up with Chad, all right? It's pretty much what he can do for her. Partnership alliance, all right? You do for me, I do for you. You make me look good, I make you look good. Whatever the case may be, it was what he could do for her. Partnership alliance.
in the present. In the present. It's showing two couples. It's showing two couples that are not in harmony. This represents spiritual union. If they once had it before, uh, they don't have it now. This represents lack of harmony. Lack of spiritual union in the present. Okay? Lack of harmony and lack of spiritual union. Uh, this is two people who have a bond. Okay? This is two people upside down. Things are upside down. Okay? That, that bond that they once had, it's not there anymore. Okay? So there is there definitely has been a disruption within this union. Okay? Things ain't all, you know, lovey dovey like it once was. Let me just see that. Let me just say that. Somebody definitely, um, let me just say this. Uh they realize things ain't what they thought it was. All right. Things are not turning out the way they had hoped. There's lack of harmony within this family, I mean, within this union, in the present, in the present. Now, when it comes to my reading, things can change. I'm just pretty much being led by the spirit. These are the cards that came out. I want to get an insight, an insight what's presently going on with Lori, okay? What is her mindset? What is she thinking? In the present, her babies, her children are on her mind, okay? Yes, they are. In the present. Lori is being patient. Yes, she is. In the present. In the present. She is seeking behind bars spiritual strength. Okay? In the present. Lori is trying to stay hopeful. Okay? In the present. In the present. Lori is dealing with emotional withdrawal. Okay? In the present. In the present. Things between her and Chad have gone sour. In the, well, this is how it was in the beginning. Let me just say that. <clears throat> this is how it is now. Okay? Things have gone sour. What she had hoped for, because she's doing a lot of reflecting, what she had hoped for, it didn't work out in her favor. This is material harvest. This is the lack of. This is someone who was not able to reap the harvest. Okay? So they, they didn't, that wasn't in her favor. That didn't go well for her. And she's also dealing with heartache and loss. I'm sure it's really hitting her. Look what I've done. My babies are no longer here anymore because of the choices and decisions I've made. Because of what I got myself into. She's dealing with heartache and loss. Okay? She's thinking about her babies. Memories of loss. So if anybody want her to suffer, oh, she's suffering, family. She is. She is. It's, it's hitting her big time behind those walls. Let me just say that. Okay? It's hitting her big time behind those four walls. But is she still trying to play the game? Yes, she is. Because she's trying to really, you know, where is it? Move a certain way. Okay, she's trying to make certain choices and decisions behind the scenes. Okay, so she can get out of the situation. Movement, choices, decision. This is what she's doing behind the scenes. They need to keep a close eye on her. They need to keep a real close eye on her because if things go to the left, if things don't go the way she hoped, I can really see her committing suicide or, or the attempt to commit suicide, allegedly. I have to say allegedly. But I can see her doing that because Lori does not want to spend um, no freaking a lot of years behind bars. She's been behind bars already. She knows what it feels like. And she's definitely contemplating, uh-uh, that's not what I want. If things go to the left, I can't see myself being in here over no 10 years or, or more than 15 years or for life. You know, she can't see that. But she can see this. She can, she can see this. To sacrifice herself, she can see that. But this card is upside down, so she might be contemplating it, but I don't I don't really see her uh, going alone, you know. I don't really see her actually just doing it, you know. She might be thinking about it. But I would still say they need to keep a close eye on her if things don't go in her favor. And the way it's looking, it probably won't. 
This is the opposite of triumph and success. Lori knows she didn't she didn't make good choices. She didn't choose wisely. She knows this. She knows. But at the end of the day, they were her choices. They were her choices. Though she was a mother, those were her children. She wanted out. She wanted an outlet through Chad. Okay? This is what she wanted. But she didn't choose wisely. Okay? She didn't make the best decisions the way she went about it. All right, family. I don't want to keep repeating myself. Um, as I stated, she feels like she, <clears throat> she feels hopeful. She, she feels like she won't be defeated, okay? She feels like it's still what? Hope. Time will tell. But I don't know. It's, it's a lot stacking up. It's a lot stacking up behind her. A lot of evidence. To say accelerated motion. It's a lot going on behind the scenes. And this says triumph and success is upside down. This is not in her favor. So anyway, much love to you all. Thank you for watching. And the many of you are praying that, hey, Lori, you reap what you sow. This is a justice card. It looks like, yeah, she just might reap it. She just might reap it due to the poor choices she made. Thank you. Much love to you all for watching. Thank you for your love and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Peace and love to you all. And bye for now. And remember, this is just allegedly and nothing is set in stone. This is what I'm picking up in the present on the mindset of Lori. Valor slash Daybell. Thank you and bye for now.